Hello there. Today, as you can see, we're attempting to load and play the Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back on the ZX Spectrum. Um, I covered the first one, but it was absolutely ages back, and I've kept meaning to come back to this, because I love the wireframe uh, 3D graphics on the Specky, but just never got a chance to do it. Um, for those who wish to know, this was released in 1988 by Domart, and was a conversion of the 85 Atari arcade machine. It looked awesome. Uh, as I said, it's a 3D arcade shooter that loosely follows the uh, the film. Uh, we again get to play Luke Skywalker, but this time we also get to play Han Solo and take control of the Millennium Falcon, which is always the best. Everybody wants to be Han Solo. <laughs> Just a second. I'll turn it up. It's a great tune. Everybody in the world knows. Um, yeah, there are four levels to play through this time. But as with Star Wars, once you complete all four levels, it just loops back to the start. There's no end to this game. That just sounds ace. Right. Let's give it a go. Uh, we want five to redefine keys and we want left no keys yes Right, so we've got his keys, so it's S to start game, which I can't find. Uh, S. Just a second. Zero. And we're on. So here you can see we can pick. Uh, easy, medium, or hard. So we'll go for, we'll go for medium. And there's Darth Vader's ship. It's searching for the Rebel hideout. So we've got to stop him. And we do that by destroying all these droids. It. And those snowflake type things, they're the baddest shot. Ooh. As I said while it was loading, I used to love the, uh, I still do, I love the 3D effects on the, uh, the ZX Spectrum. I've just got the bonus there, I've got the letter. I think if we get all four letters of Jedi, we get, uh, I think we get an extra life. <laughs> I'm not talking much because I'm concentrating. I do apologize. Um, yeah, I really like 3D games. Um, Star Wars games. There's some of the thinking games as well on the Spectrum, uh, Carry Command, uh, The Sentinel, Ooh. Well, now we're on to the, uh, the Walker stage, and what you have to do here, the little ones you can destroy by just shooting them, the big ones you can only destroy one of two ways, you can either shoot them through the, uh, the like, viewfinder at the front, or we can use the tow cable, which I will show you when I see one to shoot. There we go. There we go. Shut tow cable away, and if it if it wraps around the feet like that, it'll fall. Well, we didn't get to see it on screen, but it did. Trust me. Right, let's see if we can get that one. There we go. Oh, nearly crashed into him. this one 
Talk cable away. Did I miss? No, I missed that one. Die. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's... Oh, no. That were an easy shot, that one and all. Ooh. And there for the TIE Fighters. I think the TIE Fighters look ace on this. They really do suit the uh, wireframe effects. There we go. Get him, get him. Didn't get anybody there. Just loads of panic fire. Can't shoot that. I'm sure that though. Ooh, bit of slow down there. Not on the screen for the old specky. And then this bit's awful. We're in the Millennium Falcon now and we have to dodge all these asteroids. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, that were always going to hit us. They're always going a certain way. You have to, you have to push against rather than. And sometimes it looks like you're going towards them, but you're not. You're actually pulling away. And there we go. That's it. Look at there. There's the Millennium Falcon flying off. Wave completed. 100,000 points. And then it just starts again. But it's harder. <laughs> Die. Anyway. You've seen the full game. There's no point going round and round and round. But before I go, I just want to say... Yeah. Baz Harding. Search your feelings. You know it's true. I am your father. <laughs>